This is a weird old amp from the 1960s. It is a Gregory amp. What's weird about it is one, that it's a Gregory. There's not a lot of these out there and there doesn't seem to be a lot of information out there about them either, aside from they may have been made in New Jersey and they may have had something to do with harmony. That's about all I can find. What makes this one particularly weird is a few things. One, it is a combination guitar and bass amp. There are two separate channels, one for guitar, one for bass. There is a single 15 inch speaker, which is pretty awesome. There's no model number on it anywhere. And the tubes that it uses are predominantly those that we associate with British amplifiers, such as the two EL84s that are in there. I know other American amps have used those too, but again, I tend, and as do many other people, associate them with British amps. It is tube rectified, but it is a British style rectifier. I believe it's a GZ Easy something. I forget off the top of my head. Um, but I'll shoot, it's a, a little 9-pin thing, it doesn't look any bigger than an EL84. I have it on standby, I'm plugged into the guitar channel right now. The only thing that's being done to this amp is that the 2-prong was replaced with a 3-prong, and I bypassed the ground switch on here as well. So this is channel 2 which is over here, channel one inputs are over here. There's a volume and a tone for each. Right now, right now I have the volume at about halfway. I'll put the tone about halfway as well. There are no numbers to go from. It's just a turn of the knob. like the, the Vibrolux over there is filtered through a capacitor kind of darkens it up just a little bit I'll play about the same thing and then I will uh, turn it all the way up these pots are a little crackly things I noticed about this pulling when pulling these uh, the input jack in and out is that like my old Supro I had an old Supro 1610 just a little 8 inch speaker with volume tone tremolo um, the, the metal on these is really thin you can kind of see it flexing which uh, you know this is not a an expensive amplifier when it was built so this is the bass channel. I'm going to turn the bass volume up about halfway. second input uh, where it's it's just kind of wired through another capacitor fire it back on the volume uh, is it the same about halfway up tones about halfway up um, I'll put it on the neck pickup on this guitar and I'll put it back in the center position just because that's where everything else was all the way 
way up. crackly especially on this bass channel uh, it sounds like there might be a little bit of a ground issue it's an older amp uh, as I said the only thing that's been done to it is I've gone in and replaced the original two prong with a three prong I bypassed the ground switch because there was no need for it anymore and it should be good um, but there it is it's a strange Gregory amp no model number I'll put some pictures of the inside uh, the tubes sit kind of facing pointing outward um, they seemed a little wobbly in there too it's just a strange amp combination guitar and bass amp but there you go a gregory amp i don't see these around very often